Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Kim's Inspired Life. So here's a few projects that I worked on this weekend. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you what I started but have not finished yet and will get to probably tomorrow. So I'll start with these. I made these two first. I made this with a tutorial from Patty Cavasso's channel. So many of you follow Patty. She's an awesome crafter. She has so many tutorials on her channel. And so she called this a Memdex folder. And so basically she made a belly band and when you open it up um, she there's room for two mem decks one on the top and one on the bottom well I don't really see a time or can't think of a time when I would be sending someone two mem decks cards but I do have of course mem challenges that require mem decks so I was thinking that you know I would just put one mem decks here and then you could always just add whatever you wanted to here and I love this um, spine right here because you could definitely put a um, little straw there with with something on there you could put some a sequin mix right there or something even in the center as well you could add an envelope here with some things in in it and um, so I like that secondly I made this one for a birthday challenge that's coming up that I am creating a memdex for and then I'll do the same thing I'll add something here and then probably an envelope um, so with something in there and then I just turn the paper inside out <laughs> you can see that to make the belly band and so those are the first two things I made and then the second thing I made was this little album here of course this was from pink strawberries channel and I like the size of this it's five by five you open it up I made it very similar to um, her tutorial though not exactly and I'll tell you why so um, she used double-sided paper so I did not so I went ahead and added of course these um, strips of paper which I like which I don't mind at all and then um, she did add this just little fun card here that you stick in this little pocket here and then you could use you could decorate that any way you want she made a pocket here, which this is a good size for Project Life cards or any other little goodie that you want. And then right here, so Michelle actually on her tutorial had some vellum right here. And I do have vellum, but I don't know. I just decided that I wanted, I found this card. I have um, several of these, you know, still in my Valentine's stash. And I just really wanted to use it. I probably won't put a note here, but I just like the way that looks right there. And then, of course, this is a pocket up here. It's a little bit of a wider pocket. It. so um, you can as you can see so you can fit some more goodies in there and then this is just a band here like that and she did something a little bit different on this page but I like that band there and then um, a pocket right here and um, so I haven't filled it yet. I'm not even really sure who I'm going to um, give this to or how I'm going to use this. But of course, I will put um, embellishments and make it probably put a tag right there and um, fill all that, fill all these up, and then probably just put a ribbon to close it up. So that was the second thing. And this last one that I made, this is called a book of boxes, and it's from a um, it was from a tutorial, an excellent tutorial, um, a UK crafter named Sam Colcott. And this book is about, what, four and a half by five or so. And so you open it up like this, and then <laughs> you make all of these little boxes to go inside of it. And I just thought that was so cute. So um, she had a little chocolate that she placed in each one. I haven't filled these up yet because I'm not sure who this is going to be going to. And uh, But you could obviously put anything in these little boxes and what you do is you make the eight boxes and then you glue them on but of course you glue these upside down so that you can get into them and then she had a, just a little sticker here which I'll probably do as well um, and she had all of her boxes were the same um, made out of the same paper but I used um, you know a couple scraps that I had um, some of the couple of these pinks are scraps too I did have to cut into I think this sheet of paper I cut into but the rest of these were just made with scraps and um, same thing you have this little spine here and you can use that to add whatever something fun you want to do and then the ribbon is tucked in between um, the cover and and the spine so and the back looks just that the same just like that and then she said um, on hers she left the spine right here to personalize so you could put a sentiment or you could put the person's name or whatever and then and she had um, the front um, decorated as well. So I just thought this was so cute, this book of boxes. When I first saw the tutorial, it looked 
fairly easy because these boxes don't take any time at all to make. They're pretty simple. I just thought this was so cute and I love little boxes like this. And um, so those were the things that I made this weekend. On the end of this video, I'm gonna attach just the start to the playing cards that I also started and then I will show them to you in another video when I finish with them. All right guys, I hope that you had a crafty weekend as well and that you enjoyed. I'll talk to you again soon, bye-bye. I'm watching several videos and altering playing cards just looks like so much fun because it's a small surface. You can use them for many things. You get to use the mixed media process. There's many ways to do it and many people over many years have been using um, paper napkins and um, but I don't have that are cute or that I really want to use so I and I have plenty of tissue paper so I really liked that idea so the first part of the process is basically just to mod podge on the card and then add the tissue paper onto it and then let it dry so when I cut the tissue paper I just kind of cut it about the size that I knew that I would need it and the tissue paper is hanging over the edges, but then after it dries, you can just peel it right off because then you could just sand around the edges, right? Then I can use some gesso, some texturing paste, whatever I want to do to um, start the next step. Let's see how that's all wrinkly and everything? That's a good thing. That just adds texture to it, and when it dries, it'll look good. When you, After you paint it, it'll add texture. There's channels that do um, 52 days of playing cards. They take, you know, the whole deck and every day they show you a different way to um, use mixed media with a card and it's amazing. So if you've never looked at any of those videos, you should go and find some of them. They are just, they're amazing. I'm not an artist at, by any stretch of means. I think I'm doing 10 today and um, then I'm going to let them dry. I'm going to go work on a few other projects and then I'll come back and when they're dry and we will carry on the process.